Um, me and my cousin Ramel has always been very close. We grew up together. Me and Ramel is like brothers. We play basketball together, go out to eat together with the family. I'm not a thief. Me as a man, I'm honest. I'm a very hardworking man. I never stole from anyone in my life. Um, he moved into my house in June in the summertime. So I had got my summer youth job. That's when I started working. I have been working for four years. So I had got my first paycheck. And then I noticed that $50 was missing out of my money. So And where were you keeping your money? In my um, dresser under my pants. So that's when I noticed that money was missing the first. 50 that was missing. I just let it like go. I didn't say nothing about it. But then it happened again. And then the third time it happened again, so I told my mom. I was like, Mom, my money is missing. So she said she would go put like a room lock on the door, but she never had put the lock on the door. So then it happened again. And then I had my um, girlfriend. That was it fifty dollars each time? Yes, fifty dollars. Were you I mean, before this incident with the money, were you close with your cousin? Yes, he was very close. If he fails, what happens? Because I'm not gonna talk to him no more. You'll never talk to him again. No, I won't talk to him. Mm. And if he passes? I'm going to give him a hug. Yeah. <laughs> now, he says that you never told him that you told people. I told my friend, yeah. yeah. I told my friend. But now, is, is that right to do? No. Yeah. Because it was tough for him to hear it from other people. He was like, hey, if, I, if he thought something, why didn't he just ask me? Hey, what's up, man? What's up? Why would you think I would steal your money from you, bro? Because you were the only one in the house. You know, I got love for you and everything, man. If I ever needed something, I would ask you or your mother to help me out. Y'all would give it to me, bro. That really hurt me how you went to people and telling them I'm stealing and not to let me in your house and stuff like that. And now I'm looking like a bad guy, bro. I love you with all my heart, bro, and I would never steal from you, bro. I love you, too. For real. But... And that's the thing. He's, he, you know, he strikes me as a really nice guy, right? And just talking to you now, the way you talk to him. Guys seem like you were very close, right? Yes. Uh, and how bad does this hurt you that he thinks you stole the money? It hurts me a lot. I feel like I'm not a part of the family no more, like, because he's ignoring my calls. I'm trying to get in touch with him. Are you ignoring his calls? Your cousin, Devante, came here and took a lie detector test. And we asked him, while living with Ramel, did you take any of his missing money? He answered no. Were you the person that took any money from Ramal's drawer? He answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Devante told the truth. Two weeks after the show, me and my cousin's relationship had grown very close. We have been going out together, doing a lot of stuff together, and he even moved back into the apartment with us. Two days before my money got missing, my ex-girlfriend and her friend Tiana was in the apartment during the time. I was determined to find out which one of the girls had took my money out of my house. So I had gave my ex-girlfriend a call and I asked her would she be willing to come onto the show and she agreed to come on because she said that she didn't take it. So my cousin and Tiana was in a room chilling while my mom was at work, and me and Kiara was in the living room watching TV. The reason why I felt like Tiana took the money is because she was the only one that was in the room with my cousin. Did you steal that money? No, I no. wouldn't take Ramo's money. I didn't mean to take anything from him. Yeah. Um, tell me about the night that you and your friend were over and he thinks that you took the money. We went over for a movie night, like a chill day. I didn't want to go by myself. He wasn't doing anything. So I asked my friend to come with me and just talk to his cousin. So they would let her in the house. Nothing happened with anyone. So I don't understand how he's saying someone took his money. How does it make you feel that he's thinking that you took his money? Then? I'm mad. I'm livid. I would never have to take anything from Ramel. Ramel calls me when he needs something, when he's hungry. So why would I need to take money from you? Um, is it possible that your friend took the money? No. Why would you say that your friend didn't take the money? How did you know she didn't take she it? She didn't take your money. If your but money went you... missing over a period of time, how $400 went missing that day? But if you wasn't in a room with her, how would you know that she didn't take it? Because she didn't take your money. She doesn't need to take your money. When you see me going to your room? The day when you came over, you and my cousin When did I go in your room? room? When me and Kiara was in the living room, y'all was lying. in the room. Y'all was. Lying. I don't need to steal from you. Y'all sitting on my bed. I don't need to steal from you. So who else was stealing? 
I don't know. It wasn't me. Y'all was the it only ones us. in the room. You was on my was, bag. I was, was not in your room. So never. where would you I would never go in the room with your cousin. I'm never. Dumb. So where would I you could never. I could never. I could never. So you didn't take the money no. either. And I do believe now he's kind of just going down like. Yeah. Being playful. You know, the exterminator might be next, right? Like, you know. <laughs> like, who, whoever was in the house, he's going to blame. Mm -hmm. When you noticed that the money was decreasing, wasn't that the time to be like, I need a new hiding spot? No. No, I, I ain't said nothing about it. I told my mom. I told my mother about it. I ain't So my question else. to you is, who else could have took this money? You share a room with somebody, so... I can't say my mom took it because... You can't? No, I can't point the, the blame on my mother. Why not? Because she never stole from me before. She never stole the from money you. Been there but Devante the never stole from you before. Your friends have never stolen from you before. Tiana, uh, you came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked you, did you take any of Ramel's missing money? You answered no. Do you know for sure who took any of Ramel's missing money? You answered no. Uh, the results came back the same to both of those questions, and it came back that you told the truth. <laughs> Kara, you took a lie detector test. Mm -hmm. I'd be shocked if you fell. I'd be shocked too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take any of Ramel's missing money? You answered no. Do you know for sure who took any of Ramel's missing money? You answered no. And the results came back the same to each of those questions on your lie detector test. And it came back that you told the truth. I think it was. I apologize. Call mommy up. Call her. Call oh, we're, call, we're calling your mom right now. OK. <laughs> what if she fails her lie detector test? Oh, no. What Still I'm going to do? Ongoing saga of where is Ramal's money? We narrowed it down to my mom. Your mom. Mm. And your mom uh, was coming here, but she didn't take your money. But she brought somebody who did take your money. Oh. I want you to sit here, and I'm going to bring that person out. And who might you be? I'm Ramel's youngest brother, Tamel. Tamel. And why are you here? Because I took my brother's money. You took his, your brother's money? Yes. You realize we've been going through a lot of people trying to find out who took this money, right? Yes. You didn't think, like, I should say something? No. Why not? Because I wanted him to feel how I felt. How did you feel? I felt bad because I, he owed him my money. So he, he owed he you owed money? Me money, yes. What did he owe you money for? Because he had got jumped, and they robbed him, and he had on my items, like my shirt and my sneakers. And he had a oh big my hole. God. Yeah. But, but he, okay, but he didn't mean to get robbed, did he? No. And also, he always borrowed my clothes. And so, how much money did you steal from him? $350. Do you think that's right? No. How bad do you feel? I feel bad now. You filed him out. I didn't mean to do it. Because like, the whole time I thought it was Boom Boom, then I thought it was Kiara and her friend. And I'm blaming mad people. I mean, at the, at the time, I feel bad. Like, I feel bad now for doing that. And he was going to throw your mom on the box. Yeah. You know. If I would've knew it the whole time, I would've never had to go through this. I mean, but you owed me the money. Again, your brother, he was wearing your stuff, and he got robbed. It's not like he borrowed money from you and just didn't pay you back. It doesn't sound like you're, oh, and this jacket that you're wearing, use that money to buy that jacket, too, right? Yes. <laughs> Shouldn't you offer your jacket to your brother? Yeah. No. Yes, no? No. No. Do you plan on paying him back? I don't owe him anything. You... Whether he owed you money or not, you stole his money. He didn't steal anything from you. You stole from him. I mean, I don't really say it's, hey, I'm stealing from him because he owed me the money. I mean, is this worth damaging your relationship over? No. Well, how about some heartfelt expression to your brother? All right, I'm going to say I'm sorry for taking your money. It will never happen again. We just went through the gamut and accused everybody under the sun. And it was you the whole time who took the money. And you don't feel bad at all. No, I do feel bad. It don't seem like it. No. What we're going to do is we're going to give you the money. Okay? Thank you so much.